Hey, it's your boy, Picante Nino, coming at you with another video. Today, we're going to talk about what exactly separates a beginner zerker to an intermediate zerker. If you guys are looking at the footage behind me, you guys might actually find out what I'm about to talk about. But with that, let's roll the intro. <laughs> Mm. All right, so before I actually go into the topic that we're going to talk about, let me just set up the premise because this is a more intermediate video, so it's going to take me a little bit more to actually get into the weeds of this. So whenever you guys are playing Awakening Zerker, those of you guys who have been playing it for a decent amount of time, you are going to notice that Awakening Zerker literally has zero damn protection. You are protected 0% of the time. Okay, and meanwhile, you see all these Awakening Zerkers in Battlefield 1, or, you know, you kind of like stop by my stream and see how I find the BA1, and you're just like, dude, this guy never gets CC'd. Well, just letting you guys know, in standard fighting games, there's two types of defensive uh, playing, right? There's just the standard hold back, walk backwards, and like block, and then that's it, right? But if you actually look at Marvel vs. Capcom 3, the defense is actually the movement, you guys. The defense is actually the movement. Whoa, there was like two types of defensive play, right? There is blocking and there is movement. So Zerker, we're not really good at playing defensive by, you know, pumping our frontal guards. Because obviously we're going to be fighting against a ninja or a kuno. Or some type of class that likes to just, you know, skip the neutral and immediately hit you in your back with a multi-hit stiffen or a multi-hit knockdown. You cannot compete with those, right? So in order for you to actually be a better Zerker, is you need to up your defense game. And the only defense game that we have that is actually kind of viable is movement. Movement is a universal tool in fighting games when it comes to playing defensively. If someone swings at you and you backdash and then it whiffs and then you go in with the right hook, you just completely baited them and you actually flip the script, right? So, with Awakening Berserker, yes, our defense is movement, and everyone's disregarding our movement. And the way how you get your movement is by doing stacks. What is stacks, you guys say? And this is what separates between a, a beginner Zerker and an intermediate Zerker. If you do not know what I mean by when I say stacks, it means your Buster turning 20% movement speed and your attack speed, you know? From either your Beastly One Slash or your Buster Training. Those are your two stacks. And I'm going to show you guys how to use them and how beneficial they are to the Zerker game plan. Of playing defensively so you can get to the point where they mess up. And you could get either a clean grab or you just completely punish them off of a stiffen. So with that you guys, let me show you and let's jump into the specifics. And how to exactly cancel in to your stacks because if you don't have your stacks as an awakening berserker you're making your life three to four times harder everyone says that awakening berserker is protected that it's strong it really isn't it's just that the people who play the damn class know the nuances of it and yes the strongest thing on awakening berserker is the movement why do you think we still have click to move and with that you guys let's just go into it all right so let me swap over to the bdo stuff can Alright, I'm going to show you guys the two stacks that you guys need to know for Awakening Berserker. And that is basically your Buster Training. It just says, hold left down mouse button to perform standing attacks. And you can also change the directions. It really doesn't matter. But, the one thing that you want to see right here is that it says plus 20% attack speed on standing attacks. Okay? So, you have to make sure that your character is not moving, right? And what it means by not moving is that, you know, you could do this. These don't count towards the 20%. It's only the standing attacks, okay? And it's simply just holding left click. Holding left click gives you 20% attack speed. This allows you to cancel stuff way more quicker than you're used to. So your shake offs, they come out 20% more faster. Okay, which is amazing, right? It's crazy, right? Crazy. And then the other stack is Beastly One Slash. This isn't your pre-awakening. This one's the more riskier one out of the two to do. But the thing is, is that this gives you plus 20% movement speed, okay? And the, also, there's another stack with Frenzy Destroyer, which is like the old school Zerker, you know? It's the 16 per, or plus 16 AP for 10 seconds, but we're only talking about the attack speed and movement speed. 
because the frenzy destroyer or the 16 percent attack speed i mean the 16 ap would will come in your your combos once you get the catch so we're not going to talk about the ap one we're only going to talk about the movement speed and the attack speed one so those are the two that you had to interweave in the middle of your fight and i know these two skills are not protected beastly one slash and buster training are a hundred percent not protected they are very slow and they are extremely when you're a beginner it is extremely hard to just constantly weave these in in the middle of a fight and then still be good and not get cc'd out of them let me show you how they look like so this is buster training gives you that 20 percent attack speed and then this is beastly wind slash gives you that movement speed simple enough right if i'm gonna play the clip before I'm actually going to play two clips, and then you guys are going to notice that these two moves do come out before I do an engage. So usually as a Zerker, you want to have your stacks up before you do anything committal, if that makes any sense. Sometimes, as an Awakening Zerker, you cannot do it, and you only could like, Oh, snap, I only could get away with the Buster training. My opponent's not going to let me get away with a BC 1 Slash, right? Because dropping a BC 1 Slash is very, very risky. But let me play the other two clips. So in these two clips, you can just see me throw out a bunch of random skills in the beginning of this match. And then before they engage, I'm also throwing out random skills. Yeah, but we just went over it. Those skills are not random. You see Zerkers do all this crazy shit before anything happens? They're not just throwing out skills to look menacing. No, we're throwing them out with a purpose. And that means we are stacking before the round starts or before the engage happens. Because those are free stacks. It actually takes a lot of skill for you guys to actually pop stacks in the middle of a fight so this is why these two clips are important those of you guys who didn't know what those were before and why zerkers always just do random shit before you know the the fight starts or in the middle of a fight they're just not, they're not throwing out skills for the hell of it bro zerkers would not throw out or waste stamina or resources or anyone in general would not just do that just for the hell of it no zerkers do it for a reason it's for the stacks so I'm going to show you guys why stacks are important, okay? Okay, so Zerker is a unique class. We're ranged, melee, and we have grabs, right? So we're a grappler, ranged, zoner that's also really good at movement. But what's really ambiguous with Zerker right now is that we have a lot of skills that actually run off of attack speed and movement speed, right? And what I mean by that is that we have our shake offs right a shake off is also an attack and it's also a movement skill so which one is it does it scale off of attack speed or movement speed right i'm not going to get into the specifics about each and every single one of them i'm just going to give you guys a general overview of just both attack speed and movement speed and how it affects certain skills in the zerker tree so you could use them so you could play your defense and also elevate your offense so if you notice that I have zero stacks here, here's my buff bar. There's literally zero big things there, right? We're going to stand in the middle of this, make sure that our feet are touching the edges. And we're just going to do a simple shake off, right? We basically back foot is slightly touching the outer rim of this right here, right? I'm going to throw in attack speed and movement speed. So attack speed, movement speed, right? Plant my feet right here. And then you see how we get a little bit further now from there. We position it correctly we get a little bit further it's pretty noticeable difference whenever you have your attack speed and movement speed up so yeah try this little experiment out you're gonna realize how much more distance you get off of a simple shake off from uh from just attack speed and movement speed stacks so it's pretty crazy right our foot was touching right here and it's right here right whoa well that's just like a little bit of things for a lot of work yeah i know right that's that's just the way zerker is this is what separates a good Zerker from a bad Zerker, right? And let me show you guys the way how you would practically use these two things with the Shake Off in the fight, right? You're just not going to just do a regular Shake Off. But I'm just going to let you know, you know our spam? Um, we we actually have a spam Shake Off. If you guys don't know, look at my previous videos. It's called Flame Buster Spam or Buster Training Spam. Whichever you want, the Shake Off Spam, right? And so the way how we do it is we do this, right? And this allows us to basically move at shake off speed and then cancel it immediately with the buster training. You see how many you see how much distance I covered right there? But if you have your attack speed and movement speed up, you're gonna look like you're teleporting around like a ninja to the other player because of all those extra micro distances that you're getting off of the movement speed and attack speed stacks. 
it actually basically makes you move so quick that it, it like look at that we basically grab close all the way to the beginning of the map right and if we were to do this without any stacks we're not going to get as far so let me do this right here and just wait but the thing is is that the attack speed also allows you to cancel the shake offs a lot faster so it gives you a lot more options to where you can actually cancel into other skills from your movement speed so this is more of like a tempo kind of thing your attack speed and your movement speed are working together with your shake offs to make them more quicker and agile which could throw off your opponent right so you just doing this right here you get to the other side of the map pretty fucking fast using this compared to the other method. It does take up a lot of seven and it's not protected, but the thing is it's fast and it's agile. And that is the key to our defense. And this also works with Lava Piercer. Lava Piercer is also, it scales off of movement speed. So you also get longer Lava Piercers whenever you, you are fast or slowed. I don't know if you guys ever got slowed by, let's see, a Guardian or a Mystic before. And then you try to do Lava Piercer and be like, man, I literally got zero distance from it. Yeah, because it scales up of movement speed. So if you have the movement speed of the Lava Piercer, right, you will actually go further. And it actually lasts a little bit longer. So it's pretty wild that movement speed and attack speed actually affect it. Because after a Lava Piercer, you want to do a Shake Off, which gives you more distance. And it's crazy, too, because you could linger the iframe of the the what's that called the shake off if you have attack speed and movement speed into the second shake off it, it's pretty crazy um just make sure that you guys weave these together it's it's crazy because a lot of zerkers do not use these at all and that's what separates a beginning zerker to an intermediate zerker okay so that's why whenever you see me fight in ba in the middle of a fight whenever someone gives me enough time bro i'm just like here look at that that's a stack right there go in here another stack we're good and then we're just keeping we're just keeping mobile, you know? We're keeping mobile. And that's the, solely because of these two stacks are up. So you gotta make sure that you know how to cancel into these stacks. And that's what we're gonna run into right now. I'm gonna show you guys how to cancel into these stacks kind of seamlessly. And I'm gonna show you guys my favorite ones. I'm not gonna get into every single way you can like cancel into these stacks. You guys will just have to go it off your own playstyle. But I'm gonna go over a couple of them that I feel are very beginner friendly. And yeah, let's just jump into it. All right, so the easiest stacks that you could possibly do right now is probably the Buster Training one. Because Buster Training, you just need to throw out basically two left clicks. So one, two, you got the 20% attack speed right there. Pretty simple, right? One, two, refreshes. One, two, and by far it's one of the more quicker ones to actually enable, right? But the thing is, is that you could also animation cancel the first frame of the second swing so when you go one two that means the second the first frame that the arm is going to go forward you could cancel it with a shake off and still get your 20 percent attack speed so one two and then and the first frame of you seeing your hand go forward from the second hit is when you do shake off so you see that it just keeps on refreshing So you know how to do it good. Just it's basically just practice the timing of that. One, two, one, two, one, two. That has like a little rhythm going to it. So when you're fighting, you can just keep on going right here, go into that, and then you're just like one, two, get up, and then you just keep on going. One, two, and it's it's by far one of the easier stacks to keep up in the whole fight. And then you just keep it up, right? It's super easy to weave in. You notice that that whole thing, I'm still like comboing into the Buster Train. And also keeping my distance and being able to cancel into any of my options to be protected, right? So you obviously don't want to pop your stacks in the middle of your opponent's face. They're going to catch it, right? So it is up to you to refresh these buffs. You could be a little bit out of them. It's not going to mean that you lose the fight when you guys don't have these up, right? More like if you want to do more sketchier stuff or more aggressive play, then yeah, do these. Do these, or if your opponent gives you enough space, or you got close out of that using this, and then you have enough time to do that, and then get back into the fight, you know? that That's the way how you should use them. Very, you know, neutral. You don't want them to be 
able to hit you while you're trying to get your stacks up. The next one that is very hard to do is Beastly One Slash. Beastly One Slash is by far one of the more riskier ones, but that one has the more uses to it. It just depends on you. It depends on you because it makes all your movement skills way better, but your attack speed makes all your other skills cancel way faster. So it's up to you which one you prefer better. Me personally, I think the movement speed one's stronger, but it just depends on you. I've seen people just only get away with this right here, and this should be enough. The attack speed should be enough if you know the basic fundamentals of Zerker very well. If not, that's up to you. It's just every Zerker plays different, you know? So let me end the clip and then redo the other clip because I'm pretty sure I cannot do this whole segment in one take. Okay, so we're going to be going over Beastly Wind Slash. Beastly Wind Slash is honestly one of the harder ones to actually use in a fight because you can get punished off of it because you are in pre-awakening. And like I said in my previous videos on how to fight a Zerker, whenever you see a Zerker in Axe form, they're basically free. It's, it's, it's a freebie, right? So everything in pre-awakening is very risky. And so the Beastly Wind Slash is extremely very risky, but you need that 20% movement speed so you can actually be zooming around your opponent to gain the advantage, right? There's multiple ways to go about Beastly Wind Slash, and I'm going to show you guys one of the easier ones to do, and that is uh, Frenzied Winds. Let me see if I can find it right here. Frenzied Winds is basically a skill enhancement that you guys could have. And Frenzied Winds is down here, and it's basically the same thing as a... Uh, Beastly one slash, but it can be used in Awakening as long as you use the hotbar. And what's really cool about Frenzy Winds is that you could cancel it with a shake off almost immediately. And it is a 360 knockdown around you. So you can use it as an offensive poke tool while also keeping mobile and you stacking a free 20% movement speed. So the way how I use it, I basically go in. I go in right here, I'm shaking offing, and then I'm just like, Wah. I'm like, Wah. and then I go back into my stuff. I hit the wrong button, but you guys get the point, right? Frenzied Winds is honestly one of the GOAT skills when it comes to quickly getting your 20% movement speed up. And it's very cancelable compared to the standard BC One Slash. The way how I would cancel BC One Slash is anytime after a, a Lava Piercer, I just do Headbutt into the Crab Walk, into basically a, a Forward Guard with the awakening change with the c right because whenever you swap to awakening if you do this animation right here the animation where you punch it straight to the front of him it gives you a frontal block so it's very good if you just like lava piercer do the crab block and immediately switch to that which means you get out of it you do a little bit of an unprotected gap because you're doing your beastly wind slash and then you also swap into your c so you can get a frontal block almost immediately and hopefully that Frontal block is enough for them not to CC you in that. So there, swap in. It is by far one of the easier ones to get into. Um, crab walk into this. So if you guys are very unfamiliar with it, there's a video I made that basically goes over a movement guide that has something very similar to this where you just keep on doing this right here, the crab walk. The crab walk cancels into a beastly one slash. And I call those things half slashes. So it's a half slash. Whenever you just hard cast a BC one slash, you get both swings of the BC one slash. That's called a full slash. So whenever you cancel it off of any skill, you get a half slash. So that's why you always want to do half slash BC one slashes because they're very quick and cancelable into your C swap. So that's how you cancel into what's that called? BC one slash and get your 20% attack speed. Another one I like to use to actually cancel into my Beastly One Slash, but I don't like to use it a lot because once your opponent catches onto it, they're going to start, you know, 100% like into, into, your, into your Beastly One Slash and comboing you off of it. And that is after you do any type of skill and you go right into Time to Rock, you can easily cancel into a Slash of Beastly One Slash. It gives you distance, it puts you at neutral. If you use it correctly, it should put you at neutral. And... It's also very cancelable from Awakening too, so as long as you have it on your hotbar, time to rock, you could go right into that, into a half slash of BC one slash, and boom, you, you have your 20% movement speed right there. So it's actually kind of really good that you have two ways to cancel into it from Lava Piercer. Do that, cool, keep your stacks up, well, might as well get another swing into it, and then just keep it up. Oh shit, I need my movement speed up, alright, boop, 
Boop. All right, we're into it. Now we have both stacks up, and now we're running it, you know? So it's very easy to cancel both stacks into one another. There's obviously other ways to do about it, especially the one how I, you know, briefly went over Frenzied Wins. There's many ways you can get away with Frenzied Wins, but sometimes I like to use it as combo fodder. So it's basically up to you. Mix and match with Frenzied Wins and Beastly Windslash. And those are the two simplest ways I cancel all of my, uh, all of my stuff with BC one slash right here, half slash, and then immediately go on to your stuff, right? And you see right there, another stack, and they're both up. You see how quickly, you know, the stacks go up and so on and so forth. And you're also staying very mobile and protected, right? Because you're in the back and you're not fully committing until you have this stuff up ready. And with that, you guys, if you guys found this video helpful, you know, subscribe i'm here to teach zerkers i'm here just to teach vdo in general but since i'm an awakening berserker i obviously want to teach awakening berserkers and get more representation from this so yes it feels good watching people out in the ba playing awakening berserker of course you know they're there to learn but like we're all here to learn i'm here to learn and hopefully i can learn from you guys in the comments section if you guys find any more topics that you guys want to like know about or, you know, teach me something about, like, hey, Picante, actually, Lava Piercer scales off of both, not just movement speed, or, you know, something like that, you know? So it's just a learning process. I might get stuff wrong. You know, that's the way how it is. I'm only human. But with that, you guys, if you guys enjoy the content, I stream Mondays through Thursdays on Twitch and on YouTube around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, yeah, if you guys want to do that, leave me a follow, dude. We're very close to getting monetized, and I really appreciate everyone watching this video. That's why I make these. I want to help out everyone who wants to play Awakening Zerker and get better with it. And with that, you guys, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.